Howdy, howdy. Man, one week off and suddenly I don't remember where anything is. <laughs> Let's see. Like the title says, today is going to be just kind of warming up, getting back into the swing of things. Looks like I managed to break my chat, so maybe I'll be fixing that. We'll see what today looks like. Howdy. I think that follower goal looks kind of silly back there, right? Are you listening out there? Oh, hey, I fixed my chat, apparently. Don't know when I did that, but okay. <laughs> it still fades away a lot faster than I'd like. But that's what I spent a lot of my time last week doing when I had free time. Just screwing around with bot stuff. Seems the instructions for uh, interacting with the Twitch API are interesting. And there's a lot of older information out there on how to do it. But I think I've finally got it where I like it and I can start actually building on it. It's a mess over here. <laughs> I've still got to do a bit there, but I think it's coming along. Why do I have, I have views and then I have, oh, this, it, that's for later. I need to start putting in opt out stuff because I want to keep track of how much you guys chat and add, you know, scores and all that sort of stuff. Hmm. What, what are we going to do today? Let's, you know what, let's start with poking around the home lab. Let's see if anything has decided it doesn't want to work in the last <laughs> week. Wow, what's all that? Oh, that's just open project. Oh yeah, we were still working there, weren't we? Uh oh, that's not fun. When did that happen? Oh, that's that's from when we were screwing with it earlier. We can just get rid of you. That's kind of funny. <laughs> but it's running and it's doing. I probably should have looked at the log there. Oh well. What is the point of keeping track of these things if we're not going to actually use it. it failed to load API pods and events. Is that just here? Well, let's take a look at the nodes. Oh, I can probably go here. Nginx deployment not found. Oh, that's that's over in Dev Services. Boom, boom. Did I delete it? I guess I deleted it. Good to know. All right. So what are we gonna do today? 
up some water first and foremost. It's funny, I really don't have a project in mind today. I thought one was going to come to me. I thought, well, actually, let's do it. Let's look at this. I think this would be useful for some people other than myself. Because if it weren't for a number of places... I probably would not have got this going. Let me open the first one here. So this guy, who has a, a Twitch channel, of course, um, and his examples, or their examples, I haven't actually watched their feed, but their examples uh, put me on the right path to figuring this out actually under their well no let's go to their authentication side of thing it's authentication no i think it was chat chatters event base no which one examples tool moderator dashboard I'm probably gonna steal some of this try it out huh <laughs> oops that's on the wrong side where was I looking oh yeah there okay what's that in here get chatters now event based yeah it was in here so basically he wrote up a little chat bot which is kind of cool i mean it does chat bot things right um but what's interesting is that it uses websockets not in the same way that the twitch api uses websockets it uses websockets as a method of connecting to irc which got me started. It was definitely uh, an interesting path to go through and see what they did here and compare that to where I wanted to be because I want to actually use the API, right? Um, I do want the capability of some of the, the IRC interactions, um, but a lot of those are available on the API. It also uses it also isn't really clear on uh, which which API key it's using. Uh, I think in here, is this it? So, yeah, unconnect, it creates the new connection, and it wants, where are you? Here, log in. So it's it's taking a, the OAuth token, and it needs a user token. Uh, so it's kind of up to you on, okay, how do you generate that? And again, there's examples on uh, getting that authorization code from, you know, various options. Uh, but a lot of them are like, okay, it's it's here. Uh, it's not Node.js. It's out there. But again, you know, you can use this to kind of build what you're after. What I was after was getting directly to the API. And a lot of this doesn't do that for me. So let's talk about what did work. Uh, again, I've got to, I'll make sure and, and add that 
link into the show notes. Uh, speaking of which, this is a risky click. I don't know if I have something on here. <laughs> and which side it's going to be on. One second. Let's just boom, boom, boom. Blink. Okay, no, I've got it. So this this just became how the things are getting sent back to me <laughs> when I was running tests, which is, that's just basically what the message payload looks like. All right, so what did I end up doing? What steps did I go down? Obviously, the first thing you have to do is go to... Uh, developer, go to the Twitch developer web page and sign in. Make a new application. I called mine the bot name, Zombie Process. Um, in there, let me make sure there's nothing on here. Okay, I'm not going to scroll down as far as the client ID. Although, it's right there. So I'm just going to do that. Basically, just create your OAuth redirects. Um, these, if it's not a local host, it has to be HTTPS. Select your category. And then down here, it'll have your client ID. And it'll have an option to create a new secret. Copy those out and put them... Temporarily, I've got them in an environment file, um, but it's when I deploy this out to the cluster, I'm just going to make it a secret. So once you have those, um, then you got to figure out, okay, how, how am I going to do the authorization, the authentication portion of this? For me, I created... An event emitter that has a constructor that basically rebuilds the user token every 15 minutes so this by default uh, if you look at it the first thing it does is it runs this dot maintain so it's running this maintain app the maintain basically just checks to see if I have an existing token. If it doesn't, then uh, it goes down to make it, making a token. If it does, then it tries to validate it. If it validates using the, the fetch command, then it admits that it's authorized and everything's good, and it tells me how much time if I have that level of logging running. Um, if it doesn't, then it refreshes, creates a new one using the token that gets generated. Sorry, the using the client. I have this written wrong. Uh, it's make client token, but it should be making the client. Code. see dragging that out real quick just to show what this is let's go to the docs authentication and the way this this is Where are you getting your ticket? Blah, blah, blah. Revoking scopes. This is an example of the implicit. Wait, no. I decided or mobile. Out. Yeah, this is implicit. The implicit grant flow that I'm using. Wait a second. Doom, doom, doom. 
client credentials. Oh no, it is. Uh, it's been a little while since I was working on it. This was last week around this time. So this is using authorization code grant flow. So the idea is that uh, first it checks to see if it's actually authorized. Um, and I'm working on basically having a little control panel in the back. If it's not authorized, it has a button here that's going to authorize. That'll take you out to Twitch and it'll create the client token. I've got that happening uh in the app portion here so when you go there i need i probably need to put this in here as as a function or as a as a part of it but i don't so is this the best way probably not it's my way though so I'm saying so a lot. Let's knock that off, huh? What happens is it verifies whether or not it can be authorized. I need to change this as well. Uh, this needs to become randomly generated. So right now, if you wanted to, if you managed to get in my network and wanted to uh, cross-site scripting attack me, then there you go. There's what you need. Um, so yeah, it, that's another good reason to put this in here so that that gets generated and handled separately. But what that does is it creates the client, uh, that creates the authorization token or the authorization, what do they call authorization code. When that code gets created, it saves it right now. I have it saved into a SQLite database. Um, and then that's part of the maintain where it checks to see if that exists. If it does, cool. Uh, go out and make... Excuse me. See, one week I'm like... <laughs> not even used to talking this much anymore, so I'm... Uh, working on breathing, everything. What a day, what a day. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. Just continue working on this after I go through this explanation. So yeah, this creates the... Uh, authorization code and then over here once the authorization code not here here once the authorization code exists then it starts with the client token side of things um, the validation even and based on the link that I sent you. A lot of this is going to be in there because I did do a lot of copy pasta <laughs> and then edit to make it work for me. So yeah, that validates it. Um, and the, the cool thing is, is that when you make the client token, it also sends back a uh, refresh token. From that point forward, the refresh token is what you use. You no longer use the, the authorization code. Um, and every time you get a new one, it gives you a new refresh token, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, the refresh tokens last, I think it said, for 30 days. And these tokens last for about three hours. So during the time of this stream, more than likely it's going to do a refresh. Um, all right, so then, 
Excuse me. I created the bot, which also I just I made it so it extends a vent emitter. Um, over here, I've written I had written everything to work with socket I/O. That's how I get the uh, the chat over there. Wait, there, there, that way. <laughs> It looks like that. Oh, great. Now it's doubled up. Well, that's something to fix. Is that going to be true? Yeah. Why are you doubling? Interesting. All right. Maybe this is what I'm doing today. I was having fun with it when I was doing it, so why not? I'm going to apologize in advance for how bad my programming skills are. The bar is like... somewhere. Actually... Oh, I know why it's doubling, because it's still running over here. Go away. Now let's try that again. No, that's not. Token is okay. I don't have another one running somewhere, right? I do not. Okay. So let's create a bug. Uh, label bug. It's on main. Well, technically, I'm not working off of main in here. And I guess it is part of what I was working on with the control interface. Eh, not really. Let me get rid of that one. I think I've got everything committed. Well, it looks like I do. <laughs> Validating push. Okay, good. So I'm going to go. Actually, you know what I want to do? Because right now this is the directory that's currently running. So if I go and check out something else, it's going to break the running bot. And I don't want to do that just yet, right? So... Let's, if you notice, it's a two. Uh, let's close that one. Uh, no, let's just do a new window. There we go. Laters. Actually, real quick, burb.
And we're back. Hopefully for real. Doom, doom, doom. Transfer. All right. So what I'm going to do. There it is again. Need to stop with that word. So it's not your friend. Oops. We need a new terminal. Um, what am I on? All right. Your changes to the following would be overwritten. Please commit your changes or stash them before you merge. Great. Uh, let me make sure I don't have that currently open. I don't think I do. All right, so I've got this one. That one. Come on. There we go. And that one. In theory, at this point, there's nothing in here that I actually care about. But, for the sake of argument, no, I'm not going to argue nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's get you. Boom, boom, boom. Chat double posting. To chat window. Please resolve. Okay. I will. <laughs> I mean, why not? All right. Uh, code. Copy. All right. I do need to... Actually, what's okay? Good. Um, npm install. Make sure everything's in there. Oh, I don't need node fetch anymore. Okay, so we, we can ignore that because it's just there on accident, realistically. Um, I need to... Copy that over. Copied, copied. And let's open a folder. Today, Junior. Wait. Oh, no such luck. Okay. Uh, documents. Projects. Zembi. Laters. All right, so we're on main. And that's the only thing that changed because it doesn't matter. All 
Oh, right, right, right. I need to actually merge those. Which is what I should have done before I copied it down. Whatever. Oh, yeah, because I'm working with the other one. All right. Uh, one of those days. Let's go to pull requests. We're going to do a new pull request. We're going to merge into main from primary control, new, create. Yeah, see, that's one of the things that right now I'm just pushing an HTML page and I want to push something else. <laughs> I'm actually thinking I'll probably be doing it in React, but I'm not positive yet. The the whole interface side of things is currently a mess uh, because it's been <laughs> rebuilt and rebuilt. I've been rebuilding the back end side of it and not really messing with the front end side of it. Create. Uh, we are not going to delete, though. We're just going to merge. Because, like I just said, main, <laughs> the way it was set up uh, was contacting IRC and, and using WebSockets purely for IRC. Now I'm using WebSockets to directly interact with the API instead. So, pretty drastic change, actually. <laughs> and it was so that I could begin work on this, which is uh, just hilarious. But the first thing that we need to do is get committed. Okay. I need to stop this timer. It's now been going all weekend. <laughs> Timers are only useful if you're actually using them. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So now we've got that merged in. Um, we need to bring you back. We need a new terminal. We need to go here. We want to pull all of that in and now we're basically on the same page so this is going to be bug double posting chat messages It's probably, I've put all of this work in and I bet it's going to be something dumb like, oh, you just put it in there twice. <laughs> um, I know that... So this says on chat, it emits new message. And that's basically what gets picked up on the other end. Um, am I dumb enough to be emitting in here as well? So this emits it out to there, which emits it out. Okay. Let's 
this saves the message and emits. For the sake of argument, we're going to do this. I'm going to have to add another one. You're going to be npm run dev, which should put you at 3001. Let me double check. that's going to be a problem <laughs> so it's recognizing at this point that I don't have a key for this one so now I've got this authenticate button question is I don't think I don't know if the redirect's going to work Yeah, because it's going to send it over to the other one, which is not what I want. So we'll have to do this. That'll restart. I could have swore that I have that in here too, but let's not go there right now. All right, so authenticate, you're about to leave. Okay, so that's not one that I have. It's sending me to the other one. Crikey. All right, let's take a look at the portal real quick. Why do I have so many of these open? Because that's what I do. Did I close it? I must have closed it. So I thought it was this one, but let's go here. Go to my console. Oh, I see. I have to find all the things with bicycles. Okay, so it should work now. And here's basically, here's what I did. So I had localhost 3000, and then I had localhost 3001. Uh, I just added auth. Easy peasy, right? So now, I should just be doing all of this on this window. So now here, I hit authenticate. It verifies it is me. So now here's something that's kind of interesting about this because I don't run this as me. I run this as zombie process. So this is going to be joining as me. I don't really care that much. <laughs> All right. So... There it is again. So, 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 so very many. All right. Um, let's bring you back. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this to you guys, but here's what it actually looks like. Yeah. That'll be annoying. Um... Test. Pile. All right, what's the log saying on that one? 
oh, it's going to have a problem because it's sending as me. Which means I have to make the zombie do it. Wait, right, this is a pain to test. Wait, now dice, dice crashed. Okay. I think after all of that work, I still managed to crash the bot. Too many requests. Yep. Okay. It's just not going to work to test it that way. Hmm. I'll have to create a separate one for testing that, I guess. Or I'm just working on main. Why not? It'll keep restarting itself, right? I need to hide the commands still, too. <laughs> Wait. That only showed up once. But that was a command. Okay. I don't know what I did to fix that. <laughs> um, sure. I, mean, I thought it was because maybe I was double posting, but... Let's close this one. Let's set this overlay aside because it's annoying. Clear out the messages real quick. Because I don't think anyone's typed yet. <laughs> that wasn't me or the bot. Little more water. And I finally picked up uh, Outer Wilds. I got it on my on Xbox. That game is wild, man. You just, you, you literally just get dropped in, like, all right, go figure it out. Good luck. <laughs> no, no further information. All right, let's go back here. We're, we're going to go back to just fixing it live. So chat right now is working. Let's do what I actually want to do, which is I want to create. Well, I don't want to work on that because I don't want to work on the actual uh, control interface because that's just going to be me reading stuff on stream. And that's not a lot of fun. Um, maybe we look at what we have to do to deploy this finally. Because I was working on that. We can change this. All right. 21? Yeah, 21. 
this is actually going to require that I have the uh, redirect as an environment variable. Let me drag this over here real quick. Make sure I don't. Oh, I do. Let's do that. We want you to be uh, and that should still work. I mean, it's not really going to matter right now, or it's that's not going to have any way of knowing it right, right now. Excuse me. All right, let's get here. Pow. We're going to close all of these because they're not necessary. Most of these are going to be going away soon anyway. All right, get start client. And we have handle, send, register. Okay, so now in the handle web sockets, I have notifications, I have channel notification, and then channel chat message. What I want to look for now, I want to do the get chatters. Let's just get a list of everyone who's chatted on, on the channel today, because that'll be cool to have access to. Chatters, get chatters, that's what we're looking for. So this is where I'm kind of trying to, rather than go to Google and say, hey, how would I do this? I need to practice reading the documentation. <laughs> it makes a big difference. So it's got the get and it's got what the response looks like. I uh, moderator read chatter's scope. Actually, let me do something real quick just so that I can. Because I have all of those in here too. And. No, I don't like that. <laughs> okay. We'll just put all that back. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm just going to put my environment window out here, and then I can mess with it as I want. Because I have in auth, when requesting the code, Wait, is it an auth or is it an app? I 
Oh, hey, I can have chat right there. Cool. Um, all right, where does that get called? Oh, right there in the scope. So it gets called at the very beginning. But basically, I've got a scope variable that makes sure that I've got the right stuff for when I'm requesting access. So it needs moderator read chatters. And I have channel bot, user, user, channel moderate. All right, I don't have moderator read chatters scope. So we'll just have to add that. Oops. I feel like I, like, do I just need to put moderator there? Actually, that reminds me of something. I wanted to see, I want the, uh, the Pokemon bot in my channel because it's fun. And I thought I had it set up, but it appears that it's not there. So let me go take a look at that. Please set bot as moderator. See, I definitely already did this. I wonder if it needs some access that I just don't have yet. Yeah, it says it's already a moderator. So do I need to remove the extension and add it again? Configure this extension before you go live. All right, let me just deactivate it and then we'll try to activate it again. Hmm. Let's do some quick troubleshooting on this. If you like this bot, contact us and get it for your own channel. But, well, no, this is their, hmm. all right, I'm just going to delete it then. And then I'm going to have to go to, this moderator, and, can I just delete you? No, that's not what I want. Okay, and rolls are empty again. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. I do want to revisit the, the Pokemon game. It is just a funny little thing to have in there, but I'm not that worried about it. Not yet, anyway. Yet. Alright, so now... This is a notification, but this, I won't be using this as a notification, so I don't need to worry about here, I think. I think I'm just going to, I would just request it, right? Well, this is just a list of users that are connected really want that let's 
Send to chat, get to chat color. Hmm. More water. <laughs> when all else fails, just have some more water. I mean, I do want to present in here the list of people as it thinks that they are there. But now I'm running into the issue of how much more effort do I want to put into this page if I'm not going to use the technology? I'm, I'm not going to be using... I'm not going to be using EJS. I'm going to be doing it client server, client server style. So this specifically exposes 3,000. I guess that's fine. I mean, on the other end, it's going to be 443, right? We just try building. One second. All right, so if I do this, Docker build, we're going to call you. So let's make sure. Uh, Worker is slash app. Okay, so we're using the image node 21. We're grabbing my root certificate. We're updating those certificates. We set the worker as app. We copy package.json. I'm running an, uh, an LS. I don't really need to, but why not, right? I can probably take that out. NPM install, and then I copy everything over and Oh, I do have it as NPM. Well, NPM starts fine. Oh, what do we got? Uh, legacy builder is appreciated and will be removed. Okay. Permission. Oh, right, right. I haven't set up Docker on this machine to do that. I think this is the first time I'm actually testing this Docker file. <laughs> I wrote it like a month or two ago. Oh, what do we have? 
File not found in build or excluded by docker ignore. File does not exist. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't exist, would it? Um, so I would want to actually do... I need to copy that. And it is... Yeah. Dot step slash certs. Yep, that's what I need. Try that again. File does not exist. What do you mean file does not exist? It definitely exists. Do I have to do like that? I mean, I'm looking at it. What are you talking about? It does not exist. Um, what if I do this? Oops. Oh, well, that's going to be a problem. Because <laughs> it's running as root, of course. So that is not going to exist. So I guess I go back to what I was, go back to the original and step certs root. I don't really like doing it that way, but whatever. Cert slash. Morning skipping. It does not contain exactly one. What? Do I just do that? When using copy with more than one source file, the destination must be a directory that ends with a slash. Okay. How's about that? It's going to run into the problem here anyway. Why did that work? Sometimes, I swear.
All right, one second. And back. Did you miss me? I missed me. Man. I probably should not have hung out as late as I did last night. It's making today difficult, to say the least. I guess it's a good thing I don't go to DEF CON anymore. <laughs> Alright, what was I working? Oh yeah, we're making sure that this works. Um, I'm kind of curious actually if I do uh, Oh wait, I need Docker image ls yeah all right so if i do Well, that's interesting. How did it validate the token? How does the token still have two hours left? Oh, because it copied. That's not good. <laughs> I need it to ignore the data folder. And right now there's two of them running. Come on. Why, why you know? It's because of the way I ran it. I know that, but...
Dead and dead. Good. All right. So let's correct that. I guess I need a, a docker ignore as well. Because we definitely don't want it grabbing that stuff. That's not where that needs to be. Uh, boom. There. And I think Docker Ignore is just like a Git Ignore, right? By using wild cards and inscription, you can specify a target file regardless of which directory it's in. So, boom, boom, boom. No, you. I need to ignore. I don't need to target in any directory. So I need star whack persist data. That should make sure. In theory, we shall see. Let's try again. No, it's still validated token. Okay. Three nine. I must have that written incorrectly. Going to exclude a specific file from the list of files. Oh, I guess I could just do that. Uh, right. Uh, where are we at? Persist data. SQ light, SQ light. All right, let's build you again. It's still grabbing it. Come on. Elon. Docker kill everyone. And ignore the file or directory name is ignored. should have that. Let's just try that. Why not? 
What's the worst that could happen? There we go. All right, so now we can build it. At least. Love how I'm working on everything except what I say that I'm working on here. So much fun. I should just say updated Docker file, added certificates, and did not sneeze in anyone's face. All right. So let's go back to what I was actually doing. Um, you can go away. We'll just use this one. Because this will be interesting with the redirect that has to happen. All right, screw it. Let's let's look into it. So I haven't actually used React. It's just the one that comes up most often. So let's see here. Gatsby is for CMS. Add React to an existing project. That's what we're looking at. Using React for an entire subroute. Set up a JavaScript environment that lets you use the JSX syntax, split your code into modules with the import import, and render. All right. Dying here, dying. Clear the existing HTML content, render. All right, so I don't have an index.js. I 
I had an index dot HTML and realistically I have an index dot EJS. Let's see what that looks like. So basically I'm just going to follow this and see what happens. Can't ask for more than that, can we? Okay, so npm install react and react dom. Okay, and then add these to the top of the, your main JavaScript. Under your components. Okay, so add these to the top of your main JavaScript file. So technically, I don't have, I, I was creating a scripts. But I think, like primarily, actually I'm running this one right now. I have head, header, chat, footer. And I've got my scripts in Oh. I've got individual scripts. Alright, so let's look at this real quick. Chat script. I remember right. Okay, they're all wrapped in script tags. So if I do a new file here, like so, And let's just, same deal, right? We're just going to wrap it in script. Oops. If I put all of this in there. And in theory, here... Do I put it at the top or do I just add it here? Well, let's put it at the footer. Index.script.ejs. Oops. And go slash scripts slash Okay, so it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't do what it said it was going to do. So I'm guessing that is not the way. Let's cut you out. Let's put you here. Oh, you know what? Are you running? Okay, you're not running in dev mode.
there we go. No, still no joy. No change. Do I need to put it above, you think? I mean, the other option is I just make this uh, .js. Let's try that. Well, let's reload this real quick. No change. This is going to be interesting because I'm not saving or I'm not sharing the folder structure. So I need to import it. That's the reason I did it the way that I did it. Um, or maybe I just need to import the, or not import. Maybe I just need to share the folder. It's funny, most of this doesn't actually work right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so I just go... Uh, up here... Use but we're not gonna do views. But we can do views scripts, not scripts, scripts. Uh are you gonna be oops, come back. So views, scripts, yeah. All right, everything looks good. But I do still need to actually include that, don't I? Uh, let's go to where to go partials head. And I did the caps lock thing again. Script source. This case, it's actually just going to be it's three thousand. Oh yeah, but I do need to get rid of the script tags, don't I? Details, details. So this should be overriding it. But it definitely is not. Ah, caramba. Meanwhile, back to the reading. Well, I've got a lot of these stupid things open. <laughs> I 
actually, let's pop you open. Let's go. And let's go. to load resource unknown hey right, come back views scripts okay so it's not loading it that's good good to know glad i checked it Static, okay. Okay, so the name is not part, so that's where I screwed up. Of course. <sighs> Header. All right, let's see what that looks like now. Unknown URL screen. Is it because? I didn't do that. That would make sense. Cannot use import statement outside of a module. But they told me to. <laughs> All right. Where'd you go? Is that this one? Yeah. <laughs> I had it open the whole time. Dumb. Add these lines of code to the top of your main JavaScript file. All right, let's just double check this. David reads on stream. Hey, come back here. It's how most React looked at Meta for years. Set up a JavaScript environment that lets you use JSX syntax. Split your code into modules with import, export, export, and use packages. All right. I must have missed something in here. It also lets you use all the wonderful packages published by other developers on the NPM registry, including React. How you do this depends on your existing setup. Okay, so let's see if your app is already split into files. I mean, it is, but apparently it isn't.
Instant server start. Rich features. Okay. Not bite, beat. Okay. Or bite. All right. This is probably one step farther than I actually want to take this. Ah. I mean, I guess I'm not serving anything I really care about right now. No, this is not what I want to do. This is definitely not what I want to do. Leave. Goodbye. All right, add. I think I might just do this, its own. Cause like I said, I don't have a whole lot in there just yet. Production grade. a complex dynamic application. Okay. We'll just start with next. So let's look at this um, real quick. I want to add it to an existing Node.js app. The value of Next.js over only React is that Next.js is built on React. All right. Slow down, learn the basics. Yeah, this is what they're asking. This is what I get for not having used React, I suppose. Escape patches.
Click me. I know that there's a specific way to do this installation. I haven't run across it yet. Alright, npm install, npx, but what does the, what does the folder structure need to look like? After creating the React app, let's say I want to create a project in there, okay, create it, blah, 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 cool. I think this is what I'm after. This just takes me back to where I was. Ooh. All right. Definitely use React for the framework. That's how you'd use React part of your page. This just takes me back here. I don't like the idea of installing a bunch of extra stuff in there just yet. None of this really covers the folder structure. Was I screwing around in here? I think I might have been. Documents, projects, oh, it might have been documents learning. Could be here. So that's server side, client. That was a couple days ago. Yeah, this is the one.
So I think I did just do uh, npx create, what was it? All right, let's validate that real quick. npx create All right, let's look at this. Get started, create, okay, and then I just need the name. So if I just do that, now I have a client folder. And holy cow, I need to take another break. Told you, it's been a day. It's been a day. And back again. Let's get back to rocking and rolling. Or something. <laughs> uh, oh, my app crashed. I really like this uh, OBS Blade app, but it's not the most stable thing in the world. All right, here we go. Where were I? Oh, yeah, we're actually migrating everything into here. So I'm going to essentially have two, let's, uh,
all this other stuff. I'm just going to have to migrate it into a server folder. No big deal. All right. Uh, let's look at what start React script start. Okay, what does React script start do? Here's the actual app. All right, all well and good. Where is what's the rendering? All right, so all right, we're just going to do it. Uh, NPM start. Yes. Do I make that the default though? Uh, boom, 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 boom. It's got to be something that can be changed in here. So we're going to stop you. And can I do that? Sneeze in someone's face again. Handled. All right. React. Start. I just use dash p. Oh, okay, so I can just put it like so. Three thousand one. Sweet. Okay. And it's running. Cool. So now I just need to do the back and forth conversation portion of it. Uh, basically rebuilding all of this. So let's look at index. So it's got the CSS. Import React on from. Okay, so that's a node module that it's doing. Stupid things in my way. All right. From app. So it's here. And it's rendering app, which is app. I mean, it's cool that it's already got a testing library built in. That's fun. <laughs> Actually, I should do that for here as well. Just do it across the board. It's all going to be 3,001s for now. So, 
so in theory, I have app.js here. If I go over here to say chat.html, I grab everything. Well, not everything. I have to start at the body, right? So, dunk. we copy all of that. In theory, what that means Same deal, say a chat header, and then the rest of it goes away, right? Two errors. Is it because it's a const? Oh, you know what? I think I know. Actually, no, let's put this back in here. And the issue here is actually that because I've already got a function, right? Where is the next error? I think I need to get rid of this. Nope, I think I'm just, I've got this wrong. <laughs> One of those moments where it's like, I've got it figured out. No, no, you don't. So what I don't see here is the script. Is that because it needs to happen here? Let's do a quick check. Socket.io and React. So let's look at that. Uh, here's my chat. I'm going to take you out here so I can read you separately. So in this case, what they want is here under source i need a new file that is going to be socket.js and it's going to be import io from
Where's that, that weird color? <laughs> dot env dot well it's not going to be that it's going to be undefined Let's make sure I got that right. Yep, looks good. Okay. Email listeners are then registered in the app component. Okay. So, so then I go over to app and I move it. socket from socket is defined but never used oh, it is supposed to be Okay, I'm going to go back over to my other one. Oh, where'd that window go? Chat.html. And in here, I'll do a... socket dot on right great Google Moogly I'm not in over my head but I'm close <laughs> All right, so it's got, oh, this is in, oh, I'm in app.js function. Okay, export default app. This is all set to return. So it's got to happen above the return. Let's just use their example. So they've basically got two setups uh, is connected and set is connected. Okay. What's the actual error? Use state is not defined. Do I not have a 
Oh, I, okay, I need to import those specifically. All right, cool, cool, cool. to put this somewhere better that isn't better though we'll try that probably not it but we'll see all right so we're using the use state for is um Who events? I think this is supposed to just be. So if I, instead of doing that, I say, what did I call you? I called you new message. Then it has use effect. Call back. Um, okay. We're going to have function on connect. Set is connected true. Function on disconnect. Uh, no, that's not what we want. So, section dot on. No. You need to be another function, which is on new message data that'll work. I just want to see if it'll connect and actually send the message over, right? Do you get the message? as they say, as the kids say. All right, so connect is on connect, disconnect on disconnect, and there. Why do I have two returns though? So this is export default function app, which is basically just this. And I'm fairly certain that's just the end of it. You know, it's not helpful if I'm talking to the screen that's not on right now. <sighs> All right. So that's kind of what they got. Now, what's the deal? Is connected is assigned a value, but never used. Set is, set is, okay. I'm guessing that comes into this return. All right. 
what's what's the deal here? Logo was defined but never used. Okay, that's a don't care. Can't resolve socket.io.client. I probably need to have that installed. Is that just an M NPX install? Let's get a new terminal. Is it still just npm install? Appears to be. All right. One error, one warning. Go to compile. On foo event is not defined. Oh, that's true. Because that's here. And here. Okay. What? Why won't you let me set it properly? Because it's on new. I had to... That's stupid. Do I have caps lock? Oh, that's the problem. I'm stupid. Alright. Uh, now we have connection state is not defined. Do we have, oh, just two more things to import. Can't resolve. So I need those components. Where do I, where do I install the components? Event listeners see also. Oh, because I haven't made those yet. <laughs> Is there a components folder already? A uh, new folder. Uh, not. We're going to have a new file. This seems like a whole lot of work to do a test. But hey, what are you going to do? Uh, all right. And Okay. All right, now what's missing? Events is not defined. Let's 
one is probably going to be my forms. Boo event is not. So that is now. And the only thing I'm missing is my form. Which, what if I do that? Use effect has a missing dependent dependency. New message. Did I put that accidentally in events? No, that should be fine. So wait, what's going on here? Line. Module not found. Can't resolve components connection manager. Well, that would be true, wouldn't it? I've got one warning. React hook use effect has a missing dependency. All right, well, let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay, so that's the my form. It wants the connect disconnect. But I don't, I don't care. I want it to just always connect. <laughs> Why would I want the ability to disconnect? That seems less than desirable. So that means if I go back over here and I just take you out and then I go down here and I just take you out, that's just not going to work. How do you comment? That's not it. Fine, just go away. Gosh. All right. State false. Cool. All right. Oof. It's been blocked by cores policy. I think it did mention that. Uh, let's drag this over here. Might as well read on stream, right? During development, you need to enable cores on your server. What is cores? I feel like I should know this. Cross or okay, cross origin resource sharing. So I just need to throw this in there on here that's io.emit uh, 
auto equals new server. Why is that looking so stupid? What are you not liking about that? Equals new server. Oh, I have it in the wrong place. Get rid of this. New server, server, and in this case, origin 3001. Uh, where did I put you? Reload. Oh, whoops, but I need to be here. State true. All right, so it connected. Now, in theory, if I go over to my Twitch backend and I say, thanks me. Cool. It got it. All right, all right. We are well on our way. Next step is going to be to start recreating stuff. Um, I don't know that I want to do that right now, though. <laughs> I know, such a... I'm so wishy-washy, aren't I? One second. Two. Oh yeah, that looks much better with a brighter background. You can kind of actually tell, like, it's a screen. It's not like this, where suddenly everything is gone. Whoop. So, I went to grab this guy. Do do do. Oh, it makes me disappear. It thinks it's a background. Will this do it? Yeah. It's a Tesla K80. My hope is to stuff it in this machine that I'm using right now and see if we can't turn it into part of the, uh, the cluster. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sold on anything just yet, but you can find them for like 30 bucks and apparently they work fine with Linux. You just have to roll your own cooling for them, which should be entertaining considering what my server looks like or what my machine looks like. Uh, I built this computer in a... Bitcoin mining chassis just so I could reach in there and swap stuff in and out. 
Lots of airflow, what can I say? But that does give me a little bit of a segue because i got about a half hour left. May as well see what I've got from a fan perspective. And I know... that I can find a cooling fan or at least something to receive a cooling fan. Yeah, see, there's things like this guy. That's for 40 millimeter. Let's dig in the fan bucket. Man, my fans are old. I mean, it's a thermal take. That's hilarious, right? Oh, I have to do it like this, huh? Maybe I have to buy fans. No, no these are 40 millimeter, right? Oh, don't tell me these are 41 millimeter. They're just 12 volt. This might be my answer. This came out of a car computer enclosure. Although those seem to be quite a bit beefier than these little guys. Let's see what kind of CFM is actually recommended for it. I didn't realize I had so few little fans. That was my biggest fan. Let's see. Servers. Okay, these two GPUs glued together. <laughs> and I've got the I've got the spare power. Hundred watts. You also need some dedicated cooling to keep it from overheating. These are all things that I know. Nope, that's what server chassis. I'm not worried about that. worried about rendering I mean eBay has a whole bunch of fans available but are they any good your guess is as good as mine uh, let's see K80, let's go back to the STLs and see what we got here. I mean, these are kind of cool. I like this idea. The question is, does that work? Don't know.
I do not endorse. <laughs> Do not buy this product. I don't want to buy the product. I want to print this product. Hey. Leo Los Pajaros. Thanks for the follow. Pajaros 2024. Did I say that right? I got to see if my animation works. <laughs> it works. You're the first one with the new animation. That's not what I'm looking for. $13 to download, though. I mean, they should get paid. They absolutely should get money for putting the work in. The work that I'm obviously not willing to put in right now, right? Oh, that'll take a barrel fan. I actually have a big barrel fan. Let's see here. Am I missing that plug? Why does that one have a dual plug? And I have but one plug. That's concerning. Let's see. Ah, yes, I do need one of those. Interesting. I should have looked at this a little bit more, I think. NVIDIA adapter for 8-pin EPS to 2 8-pin PCIe power. Wait, does that exist only because... Because I have an 8-pin. That's an 8-pin. Maybe the assumption is that they don't have those power connectors generally in a server. We have an overall kicking English. We looked everywhere. Let's see, maybe there's something in the description that says why you would need this. The power to the graphics card, okay. Six hundred watts. That's crazy. That's another thing. I'm missing that bracket, too. So I'll probably need that. I mean, I can have it flopping around. I don't care, but... Uh, all right, so... I'm going to end up spending probably more than I spent on the video card just in miscellaneous cables. Cool. 
course, I can always just plug it into the power supply first and figure that out. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Uh, go away. Fresh DC was used. Okay, it's an AliExpress. No, this will probably show what the CFM is at least, maybe. Or not. Fine. I hope I'm saying the right thing. Yeah. Cubic feet per minute. I got it right. Uh, Alright, let's look at Yagi a little more. There were other choices. I like the wraparound. That's kind of cool. I mean, it makes it a three wide. See, now most of these pictures don't have that plugged in. Oh, there it is. I take it back. That's kind of a neat setup. The thing I got is this. It's a 12 volt. Okay, Baza 1022R to you. Let's compare notes. Forty-dollar. $32. $32. It works great, a bit pricey. Let's see what Amazon just has laying around. Why not, right? See, when I see this and I know that I got mine for 40, I'm like, I hope it was working. <laughs> So I need that cable. Ooh, a K10? No. Bad. Okay, yeah, they don't have much else in there. Well, those are pretty small. I may be able to just print it and get away with the 40s, the little ones that I've got. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Don't answer that. Yeah, see, these are all... I think Amazon's just taking longer to catch up on the price. So let's look at that. The 40, not this guy. This guy? Let's look at the dual 40s. Is there something smaller? M40. $25. I can get it printed for that. All right. Well, that's that's not what we're doing.
80 by 80. Let's get off Yagi. Let's go with Colts. Oh no, that's the one. I mean, that's still a better deal than the other one. Jeez. Let's check Thingiverse 4. Ninety two millimeter. They they're using the exact same picture even. So that other one is just using this one and selling it. Nice. Bubble thermal throttle. Okay. See, this guy's at least given some information. Guy, girl, person. I don't know. But at least they're given some information. Where's the files? Download all files. There's one file. Let's see, how long does it think it's going to print in my silly printer? For those of you that are curious, I have a Prusa i3 Mark II. It's a little old. It's uh, getting long in the tooth, but it does what I want it to do, usually. Nothing happened? Download the latest, okay. How about not then? Did I never install Cure on this? Oh my lord. Uh, let's try this again. That's why. Because I don't want the app image. Um, I need to go to... Oh, it's on their GitHub. Cool. Yeah, yeah go away. Um, boom, 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 boom. This might be a whole different set of projects. All right, so we're in their releases. Let's see what I need to do to build it. All right, guys, we got 10 minutes. Let's do this. See, make list so I guess I could have just double clicked on that. <laughs> Whatever, I needed to do it the hacker way. What? So the re oh, okay. Um, just gonna. Can I open you with Chrome? 
That wasn't helpful either. Okay. Let's just go to the main page. Read me. It's just this stuff. Okay, cool. So it's 70% Python. All right. And config install. Why not? Pip not found. I don't have pip installed. I don't have Python installed on here. Gbus. Or wait. No. Yeah, I don't think I want to deal with all of that. Uh, fun. Yeah, I guess I have to. I actually got some new music, but I still really like this song. This song just feels hype beast. What? Error, externally managed environment. Okay. Why not? Okay. To install Python packages system I try app to install. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. Create a virtual environment. Make sure you have PipX. Uh, I think I'm just going to call it that. I will deal with it later. Let's just do the app image for now and at least look at how long it's going to take, right? Properties, 
executable. Run. I double clicked, but I don't know if I double clicked fast enough. I'm going to have to get out and push. Poor little computer. Skip. Skip. Yeah, I did. Close. Go away. Alright, so let's see that again. Uh, this one, right? No. This one. No. This one. Yeah. Open and cure. Let's see what happens. Is it going to open a new cure window? Yeah, forget it. See? In the app image, it's got a recent project already. That's not weird. Let's just cancel that. Open. Fan mount. Open. Okay, I definitely had Cura installed on this before then. There's no way it it just knows my printer. But it won't load my file. All right, nope, I'm done. Done messing with it. Maybe later. For now... All I can say is, thanks for the follow, Leo Los, what can I say, I'm terrible. Leo Los Pajaros, Piaros, Pajaros, I don't know, but thank you, and uh, if you were lurking, thanks for the lurk, if you weren't, whatever. <laughs> If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for uh, sticking through to the end. Means a lot. And uh, sorry, today was just a easing back into it day. Tomorrow, we'll be back to the high quality content you've come to appreciate. Take care, everyone. And I do mean it. Thanks for hanging out.